Recently I heard the Lord speaking the words over many in the body of Christ, I am bringing you into context now and in this era. The Lord began to show me so many have felt like they haven't fit, and many of these ones have even been labeled as misfits. They have felt like square pegs in round holes and have continued to live their life in a wrestle. They have been told to conform, to change, for what they carry is too different or doesn't fit away, a style or a mold. So many of these ones have lived under condemnation and apology for who they are and what they carry. They have often retreated to caves to hide because they continue to feel like they are out of place and misplaced. The Lord showed me many of these ones have been so deeply labeled in a negative sense, but the Lord is saying, I am removing the labels and I am raising you up in this hour to shine. I am raising you up and revealing the mark of my fire, my spirit, my presence, my glory upon you in greater ways than ever before. I am bringing you into context now and in this new era. You have been carrying my heart, my word, my ways, the burdens and blueprints of my heart deeply, but many were not ready to receive what you carry. So you labeled yourself as wrong. You are not wrong. You are my child. Deeply loved. You are created in my image and as there have been attempts to squander, hinder and hide your creativity and the true expression of who you are and who I have created you to be, I am now raising you up to shine my glory. You will go forth in this season and in this era with greater understanding by my spirit of all that I have been preparing you for. All that I have been placing within you. All the words that you have carried, all the vision you have stored in your heart, all the creativity of my heart within you that has been often rejected and squashed. I am rising you up with great favor to partner with me to release the new things I am doing in this era through your life. The Lord's voice then thundered loudly. My child you were never born to fit in, you were born to stand out. I saw so many living under such deep condemnation for the wrestle that they have lived in, there is a fierceness, there is an expression of his spirit and his way that has burned so deep within them, but they have continued to apologize for it or take it on as they are in the wrong, but no more. The Lord is bringing context, the Lord is bringing these ones into context, for such a time as this. I felt his heart so strongly for these ones. To you I say, The Lord has seen your tears. The Lord has seen the years of pain. The Lord has seen the rejection. The Lord has seen the negative words spoken over you and who you are and what you carry. The Lord is healing you. The Lord is delivering you. The Lord is setting you free. The Lord is igniting you more and more with his fire and increasing the fire within you for this is your great revealing where you shall reveal and shine his glory in ways you have never seen. You shall go forth carrying his fire that will activate, ignite, and bring the fire of his presence and in love in unprecedented ways. The dreams you have carried, the convictions you have carried, the passions you have carried, the words you have carried, the encounters you have carried, all now for such a time as this. Watch all the Lord has spoken to you and imparted to you, placed within you, now come into context. I heard the Lord say, These ones have been rejected, labeled as misfits, many of them for all their lives and many of them for many years, and I am saying you fit perfectly in my heart. You live deeply in my heart, and I am now sending you forth with a compass of my heart to reveal and guide my ways in this new era. Many have spoken over you misfit, but I am speaking movement. This is your time to move, move, move in a fullness of the expression of my heart, my nature, my love, my creativity, and my blueprint through you. You are birthing a movement with me. From living under a word of misfit will be no longer. Now you will live under the word of partnering with MY movement. Favor on your blueprint. The blueprints and the vision I have given to you that was spoken down upon, that was rejected, that was cast aside, now you shall see the greatest flood of my favor, my provision, my confirmation, my presence and my glory upon the blueprints and the visions I gave you. Well done, my faithful ones. You have held to what I spoke to you, now you shall see the most unprecedented move of my spirit through the blueprints, through the visions I gave you. 
They are now coming into full bloom and fruition to bring transformation and a move of my spirit to reveal my glory and usher in the harvest like you have never seen before. You were born to break the box. You were born to break the box. You have looked down upon yourself for the fire within you, but I place the anointing upon you and the fire within you to break boxes that man's wisdom and expectation have created. You were not born to live in a box. You were born to break the boxes through the expression of my heart, my love and my fire through you. You are coming forth. You are coming forth my wild one. Bridled no longer. Free to run. Free to soar. This is your time to arise and shine and the King of Glory is coming through you. Run wild one, run. These ones will be part of leading the charge. So wake up, you living gateways. Lift up your heads, you doorways of eternity. Welcome the King of Glory, for he is about to come through you. You ask, who is this King of Glory? Yahweh, armed and ready for battle, Yahweh, invincible in every way. So wake up, you living gateways, and rejoice. Fling wide, you eternal doors. Here he comes, the King of Glory is ready to come in. Psalm 24 7-9 TPT